Okay, y'all. I welcome you to a special edition of Amina, Mina After Midnight. I have absolutely no idea what this reading is about. Perhaps by the time you're seeing this, there is a title that does give an explanation. But right now, this is a random reading. And it's going to tell you what you need to know right now. I guess. Okay. Now, usually, mean after midnight, I do it live, but the connection here has been weird lately, so I don't even want to take a chance and try to go live, and it keeps going out. So, we gonna upload. But just know, I'm doing this. It gotta be damn near 2 o'clock in the morning here. In good old Statesville, North Carolina. Okay. <clears throat> so as y'all see, four different readings want to come through. Each represented by a crystal. And an object, I guess. Yeah. This one's a crystal, selenite. It's power one. Power two is the symbol of Archangel Metatron. This is this Angel Bell. <coughs> I believe a uh, space clearing bell. And some sage. So taking a deep breath. Exhale. And let's get into it with Amina. I'll be back with pile number one. All right, with pile ones, let's get into it. You were drawn to the selenite. Um, off jump, when I chose the selenite, I said spiritual cleansing, detox. So pretty much that's your advice, right? Off jump. Um, but I also get a sense that you're someone who doesn't have to cleanse often. And that's on all levels. There's something about your aura, your vibration that is self-healing, self-cleansing. And um, you don't have to do it as frequently. But now, the time has come. <laughs> maybe it's been a minute. Maybe you've never done it. Now is time. So I put two cards, one is face up, one is face down. I didn't know what they meant at the time. At this moment, I feel like <clears throat> they want to show you something that you're seeing, obviously. Um, maybe how to deal with it, or maybe a blessing that's coming in that you see. And then the one that's face down is something you don't see. So let's go to the one you see. Stand still. It says alienation, a stalemate, stagnation, withholding, grinding to a halt, insensitivity, and mistrust. So maybe at this time you feel like you are at a standstill. You feel like there's not much movement forward. There's no movement backwards, but you just don't feel like things are moving forward quickly enough. But what you don't see is the creative. Wow. Sorry, I got to put in the light so I can see what the words say. And it says the active young principle, strength, tenacity, dynamism, inspiration, heaven, masculinity, authority, and father. So what you don't see is that you're moving into a position of leadership. Things may be still at this moment because there's some things that need to be taken care of first. But you're about to move into a active flow and you're like in the preparation period right now. 
getting ready to be ready. <laughs> <coughs> All right. All right, so I threw in an Ask Yourself This card from my new deck, homemade edition, obviously. <laughs> and your question says, who am I truly? What do I want in this life? Who are you truly? Don't settle for anything less than what you want. And know clearly what you want. All right, we're going to go to the next set of cards, which come from my very first oral, homemade oracle ever. <clears throat> you have jungle animals, which means you have animal spirit guides that dwell in the jungle that are supporting you at this time. <clears throat> you have be vulnerable and transparent. So this is some advice that will help you. Dealing with certain situations at this time in your life. Hope I could fit all of these on. Someone is thinking about me and sorry for pain they caused. So yeah, there's someone thinking about you right now. And they're very apologetic. I guess they can't reach you or they're afraid to or they can't talk to you or they're out of contact with you. But they want you to know they're very sorry for any pain they may have caused you. Yes, that's too late, huh? If they can't tell you themselves. And it says, a day for allowing love in. I open my heart to love and be loved and loving to all today. That's what you need to affirm. Heart chakra work. You also have. I expect magical things to happen all the time. When I raise my expectations, the universe fulfills them. I'm so blessed. Beautiful affirmation. And a message from your ancestors because it's traced in red. Get a whole new wardrobe. Revamp your look. You are going places fast. That's exactly what the creative was speaking of. Time for you to get your shit together. You're about to be pushed into some kind of new uh, leadership position. A, a position of authority. Maybe you're starting your own business. Or maybe it's really going to grow. Okay. What else we got? Oh, some tarot cards thrown in here. So. We have the Eight of Wands. Look like some messages coming in. You really chilling. You comfortable. And you're going to hear something. Some message is going to come in for you. Why can't I get this to fit? Here we go. Something good. A great opportunity. Three of, of swords reversed. Yeah. It's like you're getting over some past disappointments. And you're going to, this time, get exactly what, what you want. We have a seven of swords reverse. So though it's not going to be like last time, you don't have to worry about betrayals and backstabbing. Do still stay aware and alert. Don't just jump into everything. We have the lovers reversed. And yeah, there's a choice you have to make. It does feel like it has something to do with your creativity. Where you are going to have to choose between two things you truly love. So I guess that's where it's leading to the question, who am I truly? So that you can, it's like saying you need to decide. And when you do, we have the three of chalices, the three of cups. You're going to be celebrating something. You're going to make a wise decision. You're going to tap into who you truly are. It's going to be something that's going to take you places fast. Now it looks like we close out with a bunch of tea leaf cards. Let's see what they hint towards. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So there's a warning. There's somebody in your life that fits that description or that you're going to meet. Somebody feels like you may end up working with that may be 
an opportunity for you, but just a warning that this person has a very big ego. So the best way to get along with them will be to coax the ego. Ego. Broken ring. Parting of ways to in either romance or business. Well, perhaps things just don't work out with this person. Maybe this, this is someone you're dealing with right now. Or someone you've dealt with in the past. Or opportunities are waiting for you. Yeah. That door closed and there's a new one opening. Bo, you are highly thought of because there is someone else who is thinking of you, who's watching you, who would love to work with you and give you an opportunity. Kangaroo, unsettled times need to plan ahead. So right now you might be feeling like things are a little unsettled. You're not sure of what direction things are going in. I want you to just make plans because what you plan, you will manifest. Basket. Yeah, recognition, reward for merit. That's what's coming. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. <laughs> Somebody who thinks highly of you, most likely. Going to give you a major opportunity. Oh, we have a month of the year. April. See, so either you just met this person. Or your birthday's in April. Or in the coming April. No, I don't feel like it's next April. Either your uh, birthday's in April or this past April is significant. Gone. An exciting event. Yeah, like something took place or there's something exciting that happens in April. All right. And lastly, Cain, pay attention to your health. So I do feel like my power wants, that's what you've been doing lately. And it is a great idea for you to continue to do so and add maybe a spiritual cleansing to that whole health regime. On that note, I hope this resonated with you. I guess this is what you needed to know right now. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And um, check out the the um, description so that you can see that there's many other ways we can vibe as well. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. I'm moving on to pile number two. Later. Hey, pal two, and welcome to your random after midnight reading. So, you were dragged here by Archangel Metatron, but, um, may have something to do with money. I don't know. Something about prosperity or something trying to come in. Maybe you'll get uh, some heads up on how to clear any challenges or blocks or where to focus to bring it in. So the top two cards. One is facing up, one is facing down, one is what you see coming in, and one is what you don't see. So what you're seeing right now is a difficulty in the beginning type phase. Maybe you're going through growing pains, having doubts and fears raised to the surface, <coughs> rise, sorry. Maybe feeling awkward, but you're becoming stronger. It's a time of vulnerability. And feeling inexperienced. It's like you're on a new journey and you know this. <clears throat> you feel it. And maybe this beginning isn't so easy. Maybe you're leaving some things behind. But it's a necessary new beginning. You be, you're too big for this show. That was trying to hold you. You're meant for more. And what you don't see is limitation. Wow, it's like expansion and limitation. Self-discipline, practice, self-respect, introspection, ritual, cultivate patience, build up energy, and maturity. So you have a new beginning happening in your face on your journey. Coming out of some difficult times. Moving into a time of moderation. 
and balance. Self-control, respecting your body and your temple and what you put in it and what you do to it. All right. From my new deck, still in the homemade stages, ask yourself this. Do I truly believe or just say I do? Do I really have blind faith? Mm. <clears throat> so you're being asked, and maybe that's why it's an archangel coming through. Maybe you're someone who's very religious. Or very spiritual. And you're being asked to ask yourself, do you truly believe in the faith you speak of? Or claim to believe in? Or do you just say you do? And that's something you need to really check. That maybe at times you're just saying you do. And they're telling you you need to truly believe. From the homemade deck. I know there's some pals got more cards than others. <clears throat> Alright, you got a golden ticket when spirit calls answer. So you're being called to do something. Maybe recently you got a feeling about something. You was like, I need to be doing that. Spirit is coming through to say, that was a call. It's the answer. Right? Oh, you got another golden ticket, my God. Herbs and crystals are magical for you. So you need to be dealing with herbs and crystals in some way, shape, or form. Especially using them for yourself. You also have ancestors coming through time to step up a change is coming but i have to own my gifts first so there is a huge shift on the horizon for you but there's something about yourself that you're still doubting a little bit and they're trying to tell you to get your shit together because there's some stuff trying to come in wow Also have archangels. Are you kidding me? What is your confirmation? We got Metatron symbol there, geometric symbol, and archangels confirming. Yeah, we up in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I told that's one of my sons. Well, my only son, blood son's name, and it means peace on earth. So I feel like you're moving into a very peaceful time in your life. Don't worry, is what I'm hearing. Don't worry. Yeah. All right, what's the Torah saying for you? You have the Eight of Swords. Well, why do you feel stuck? You put a lot on yourself, is what I'm hearing. There's a lot of responsibilities and things that you've taken on. And now you feel like you're stuck in these responsibilities. Strength reversed. Maybe you're feeling a little tired. A little overwhelmed. A little worn out. Yeah, we got nine of swords reversed. But it does feel like you're starting to prioritize. With it coming through reversed, you do need to get some rest, but I think now you're realizing these things. I do feel like you're also now realizing where you're taking on issues that are not your own and worries that are not yours. You have the page of swords. So someone's gonna reach out with some kind of truth or there's something you need to be speaking that you are going to speak. We have five of pentacles. Maybe it's something you're going to do or you're going to say. It's going to make you feel like you're on the outs. Or it's going to make someone else feel like they're on the outs. But then there'll be peace. It's time to step up and you, your archangels got your back. Maybe there's people you need to tell that they need to start taking certain responsibilities. Okay. Well, let's see what your tea leaf cards say. 
you have an astral house that you're in right now. Oh, shit. Can I get down with you? You're in the astral house of wealth, baby. <clears throat> so stop stressing out. You have cheer filled. Someone new is entering your life. Perhaps you just met somebody or someone's coming in, replacing someone else. Perhaps that's the difficulty you've had in the beginning. You're transitioning between relationships. Could be with work. <clears throat> Maybe you're being promoted and someone else is being moved out or advancing. Or this could be in a love relationship. Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So whatever you might have been worried, like, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right person? Is this the right way? Is this the right idea? They're saying, yeah, you're right. Keep going. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So this could be you, or this could be someone they're warning you about. <coughs> Crip, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So I do feel like this could be either or, or both. Something being created that's going to bring in wealth and also for some of you an actual child. Haystack. Karma. You will reap what you have sown. Yay, finally. Because we are light workers, so what we have sown is amazing. Share empty. Someone is leaving your life. See what I'm saying? I felt like you went through some kind of transition. Someone is filling the chair, someone's leaving. Wow, I send you light and love. I know how difficult it could be going through a time where you're transitioning a relationship or even a position. It can be scary because you don't know what to expect. You don't know if you can handle this new position. You don't know if you can handle um, if it's a relationship, where things are going. So I send you some extra comfort at this time. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. See, don't worry. <laughs> Acts, forces working against you. Okay, maybe worry a little bit. Now, I don't feel like that's literal. Persevere and you will overcome problems. I really feel like it's whatever forces you feel working against you. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yeah, I feel like it could be you. Don't lower your standards. That's the only thing working against you is you accepting what is beneath your worth. You not seeing your true value and letting people take advantage of that. Otherwise, you'll reap what you've sown. You're amazing, and you're about to find that out. You're in the house of wealth. More power to you. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if this reading resonated with you in any way. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out the description, my pal number two, because I would love to get to know you better. And that is where you can find all the links for where we can vibe more. And on that note, peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Later, I'll be moving on to pal number three. Hey, pal three. So you were drawn to the bell. If this wasn't an after midnight, I'd shake this shit. But yeah, right now, I'd have everybody at my door like, what is happening? So anyway, right off jump, I'm going to tell you, you need to do some space cleaning. Your space needs to have a pick-me-up of some kind. Um, maybe Some of how -tos. You guys need to get some rest. That's the first thing I'm going to say. I'm starting your pile on a whole new day after having slept because my eyes were burning so badly when it was time for me to do your pile. Can't even keep them open. And uh, my energy felt like it was very, very, very low. And I was going to push through, but I couldn't. So, if you are, like, pushing through any, any fatigue, 
you need to rest. Okay, please. Because that was crazy. Um, so you were drawn to the bell. The bell is a sign of space clearing. Okay. There's a need for you to clear your space. Either where you live, you need to move or you want to move. Or you need a space in your home that is sacred to you. Now, I done meditated and everything. Like, um, so I do feel like my power twos, you need a space where you can meditate. Where you control the energetic flow in the space. And um, if you have that already, it's time to clean it up, reboot it, maybe change some things around, add some crystals, take away some crystals, add some statues, take away some, add a fountain. If you don't have a fountain, add a candle, you know, it's time to reboot it. But there is a need for you to do some space clearing, maybe sage out a room, um, pray, walk around your house and pray. Not so much that there's like negative energy in the home, but just that there's stagnant energy. It feels like something not moving. Like maybe you want to move and you feel like you're, you're not taking any steps towards that. You need to shake up the energy in your space a little bit. So um, maybe burn some incense, burn some sage, hold a crystal, um... And walk around and say like a little prayer maybe, um, you know, to get the energy flowing in your home, in your space again. So, as you all know, this is a reading of random things you need to know. So, what did you need to know? So, the first card is something that you already see coming or maybe you want a confirmation. And the second card facing down is what you don't see. So, you have the receptive, the yielding yin principle, devoted, patient, supportive, obedient, responsive, intuitive, earthly mother. So, you yeah, have my nurturers, my mama bear energy. Okay. What I get from this is that either you put up a boundary and that energy is not that open anymore. And they're asking you to be more receptive again. To open up to um, giving support and receiving support. Connecting to the earth. Opening up that root chakra. And tapping into your own inner knowing. Now what you don't see that they want you to know. Also for some of you, you may have mom issues. Whether she's living or or deceased, there may be some inner child wounds that you're going to have to work through when it comes to mothering or your mother in particular. And you have holding together union, cooperation, solid, solidarity, membership, teamwork, participation, making a choice. So what you, well, what you don't see coming in is that you're going to have to make a choice soon um, in regards to a collaboration either a relationship coming together or a business or career. It does feel work oriented. Maybe some kind of work you've been very devoted to. Um, maybe a work where you support other people. There's some kind of union or a team that's coming together or that maybe you're being beckoned to put together. And you have to choose who you're going to work with on this project and who you're not. That's for some of you. All right. And for my new deck that is still in homemade form, ask yourself this. Your question is, how am I? Mm -hmm. Do I check in to see if my emotions are stable ever? Do you, my pal threes? Your ancestors want you to ask yourself this. Check in with yourself. How are you doing? Are you holding it together? Are you in a receptive mode? Or are you in a defense mode blocking everything? Are you feeling like you're falling apart? Check your energy. 
right, and from my first homemade deck ever, you have, I am worthy, I am enough. So they want you to affirm this. Don't sell yourself short. Don't work with anybody where you're not uh, being treated as you are worth. Dancing carries my spirit, so perhaps dancing is a form of healing for you or something you need to get into. When I allow my body to move in self-expression, I'm truly free. I will free my spirit every day. You also have a golden ticket. It says, slow down, master soul worker. It's okay to take a break. Didn't I just say that to you, my pal threes? Yeah, y'all are doing quite a lot. Quite a lot. So your ancestors are saying, you know, they love your spirit, you know, but know that you are enough and you don't have to do so much in order to prove that. You're worthy just as you are. Through my imagination, I'm free. I easily feel what I want before I receive it. Through my mind's eye, create my path. I am a master manifester. That's a reminder to you. What you think of, you manifest. So you're being told to imagine what you want and it will come into fruition. Ooh, my stomach is growling. You Do you not eat either? You don't sleep, you don't eat? You're like me. <laughs> All right, I open my heart. I once gave someone power over how I feel. Today I forgive and take my power back. Perhaps that's what the receptive is here for. Because perhaps since you've had your heart wounded, maybe it's been pretty guarded. And it makes it difficult for um, your intuitive inner knowing to get in, to get in touch with you, with your conscious mind. Um, and it blocks loving energy and light from reaching you, even though you may still be putting it out there. Maybe you gave power to your mother over you and you need to take that power back. Or to your children. Whatever resonates. These are a lot. Okay, so this power got a lot of tarot. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands. This did come out reverse, so I do not note that. We have the King of Cups reversed. Sorry about that. I was looking out my window. You have the world. You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Six of Chalices, Six of Cups reversed. And the Two of Cups reversed. Okay. I don't know where to put this. So I did not expect all of these cards. Um, so my pal, threes. <clears throat> You're bringing communication to an end with someone. There's a masculine energy that you once felt very connected to. And it does bother you that you and this person no longer really communicate. But you're moving into a new cycle. And with this new cycle, you cannot have these past regrets. You have to know that it was not a match. 
yeah, with something that you were involved in for a very long time, feels like maybe feeling like you grew up with the person. However, they were not your match. And this is something that you have to accept. There's someone in your life that clings to your energy or you cling to theirs. They're constantly able to manipulate you emotionally. And you're now starting a new cycle. You cannot let this emotional manipulator constantly make their way back in or cling to your energy because of nostalgic feelings. So someone needed to know that. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad for moving forward. It is time for you to open your heart to some new energy coming in and to not allow yourself to be manipulated by energy that needs to be released. Okay, we got your tea leaf. <laughs> Oracle. It says diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So maybe when you release this, something new can come in. Or this person will try to manipulate you with a gift. Keep your eyes open. Tree. Affairs with your family. So maybe this person was a part of your family. Maybe it's a husband, a kid's dad, a relative of some kind. And that's why it's bringing you so much pain to have to release this person's energy. Cup. You should accept valid criticism. So they do want you to take note where you might have had a part to play in things not working out. However, you know, if it's valid and it's done in a loving way. Because I do feel like this person likes to point out your shortcomings and that's how they manipulate you to make you feel like you were not perfect. So how can you walk away without letting them try again? And whether that's valid or not, you still have to know you are worthy, you are enough, and you are worthy of what it is you truly desire, and you don't have to settle. <clears throat> dark woman. Dealing to relationships with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So there may be a friend who is able to make you feel better, or for some of you, this is a woman that's coming into your life, if that's what you're attracted to. For um, you know, majority of you, it feels like there is a friend who usually lets you know, you know, tells you like it is. You know, I do feel like maybe you should listen to them. Nope, crack cup, dissatisfaction with life. So this friend may be a little bit of a negative Nancy. Not very happy with their life. Maybe they're jealous of you a little bit. You can accept valid criticism, they're saying, but not somebody coming at you trying to tell you about your life and what you should do and not checking their own because their life is fucked up. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding is coming your way. So you have to start this new cycle because it's time for you. You've been called. Maybe that'll be my next reading. How to know if you are one of the chosen if you've been called. Or well, maybe I can just do a talk on that. I feel like some people could benefit from just knowing that. Four-leaf clover, great good fortune. Yeah, you're being um, highly protected. You're being guided to move forward away from um, anyone who wants to manipulate you emotionally. And you're in the astral house of love. That's why. You ain't got no time for haters and hate and people feeling discouraged and upset and angry. So you have love coming in. That's why you're walking away from one emotionally manipulating situation. So that you can find the true. The true love. Yeah, dagger. Fears, worries, tense situations. So whatever or whoever you're walking away from, be it a work position or a person, this does feel like a scary situation for you. You do have some worries. You do feel like maybe there's going to be arguing. Um, disagreements and things around this choice. Bird perched, waiting for news, a package, or a letter. So maybe you feel stagnant right now, like you're just waiting to see what's going to happen in order to know what your next move should be, my power threes. At this time, I feel like you need to open up your heart and um, know that you're worthy, you are enough. 
for whatever it is you desire and don't settle for anybody's emotional manipulative ways um, trying to come back in every time they do it on you who cares if you've done stuff to them at this point it's about how much you're willing to take you're not willing to take any more um, of whatever they have to offer even if it's not something negative, you just don't want that in your vibration anymore. You don't want to be around this person. You don't want to deal with them. You have a new cycle beginning. Um, soul tribes that need to be uh, called in. So really check and see how you're feeling. And make sure you're imagining and calling in exactly what you deserve, what you're worth. That's what I got for you, my pal threes. I hope this resonated in some way. You get some rest. You get something to eat. Give me a thumbs up please and subscribe to the channel if you're new here check out the description to find out how many other ways we can vibe and you can work with me and on that note peace blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe i'm moving on to power four later hey power four so i just want to sage really quick you chose the sage and um, the first thing I heard was healer and healing. So I do feel like my power fours, you are either healers or you are in need of some kind of holistic or spiritual type healing. You should definitely check my description when you're done for ways that we could vibe, ways that I could help you along on your spiritual journey ways we can help each other in my light tribe now I have not eaten my stomach is growling I hope my power fours you're not in the same predicament my power threes we're getting no sleep <clears throat> for you guys I feel like you have to put the proper nutrients in your body that perhaps you're not taking what you're eating very seriously Maybe a detox, I'm feeling, when it comes to foods, maybe fasting, maybe um, your ancestors just feel like something needs to flip when it comes to your diet and what you're eating and what you're putting in your body. Okay, so as y'all know, this is an anything goes reading, meaning it's going to be whatever messages they feel like you need to hear right now. The first two cards are something that you already kind of see coming coming and something you don't see coming in at all sorry so what you see coming in is resoluteness it says determination no compromises unwavering focus inner resolve integrity a test of character and self-examination so you're already in a very strong solar plexus chakra energy where you are in a mode of ambition. This gives me King of Wands feelings like what I want, I want, and I get what I want. So you're not compromising. You ain't taking no shorts. You are going after what you want and you're determined to get it. <clears throat> There's your confirmation that I think you're in the right energy. What you don't see, though, pushing upward. Steady progress, gaining confidence, accepting challenges, a promotion, and receiving recognition. So what you don't see is that maybe you ain't got work so hard because you, you're, going, you're being seen. You're going to receive recognition for what it is you're doing or whatever it is you're determined to achieve and accomplish. Your work, your progress is being seen and being made. That also something is going to um something's gonna happen that's gonna boost your confidence. Either you're gonna overcome a challenge or you're gonna get an opportunity, some kind of promotion, some kind of sign that you're being recognized is going to come in and it's going to really clear up any doubts you had about your character and about who you are and your ability to focus on things and see it through and manifest. All right, Power Fours. Now from my new deck that is still in the homemade stage, ask yourself this. Ask yourself this. Do I sell myself short? Mm? 
a lot of light workers do. We tend to have weird relationships with money because people tend to make us feel like our gifts should be given freely. However, they don't realize that the tools we use are not given freely. The certifications are not given freely. And therefore, sometimes we sell ourselves short. We feel guilty. We do want to help everybody. And whatever it is that you do, maybe sometimes you think there are others who are better than you. Maybe sometimes you think you're not worth um, whatever it is you actually are worth. But they want you to ask, am I allowing myself to be underpaid and underappreciated? Check yourself, powerful. And if you are, don't allow it anymore. All right, this is from my first homemade deck ever. Everybody got a different amount of cards. Well, your ancestors are letting you know what's are coming. All right, so keep your head up. Maybe you're selling yourself short and you're about to see how much others find you worthy. Sometimes that's the boost we need. Forest animals. So you have uh, animal spirit guides that dwell in the forest that are walking with you at this time, helping you, supporting you, and guiding you, and trying to give you courage. Golden ticket, good times. So you got good times coming in. I'm sure you do, but awards coming. Your deities are also here. Maybe you have a connection to Egyptian or Yoruba gods and goddesses, but they're also a part of your journey and guiding you at this time. Then you have, don't stop, keep going. And I feel like that's a word of encouragement coming from your spirit team that you're on the right track. You're on the right path. Don't stop. All right, what else we got for you here with the Tarot? You have the Fool. The King of Wands, and I just said that, gave me King of Wands energy. Notice how they both have on red hoods. Same vibe. We have Judgment. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Cups reversed. Wait, this might be the Knight. Yeah, sorry. Knight of Cups reversed. And the Five of Cups. So what I'm getting for you, Powerful, is, is there's something you're about to take a leap of faith towards. Something you're just going to trust in the universe. It's something that you're meant to do to guide and help other people. You've already made this choice. You've already been chosen. Now there's a fear that there's something here you really, really love that no longer was giving you that same energy. But it's something you really put your heart and your soul and your emotions into. Maybe you worry about that. Maybe you cry about that. Maybe you stress about stopping doing something or someone that no longer fills your emotional cup. Yeah, you're being called to do something else and you just have to trust at this time is what I'm hearing. You have to trust. And you have to let go of past regrets. Okay, maybe you did put your heart and soul into something and it was not, it was taken for granted. This is not going to repeat itself. You're being called. This feels like a very spiritual calling. Okay. You've been called. You've been chosen. Give thanks and step into your leadership position because that's what is coming in.
all this time, anything you've gone through has been a test of character. And now you're here. Don't stop. Keep going. Good times and awards are coming. Stop selling yourself short. Let's see what the tea leaf cards have to say. You have fan, romance, celebration, party. We just said good times are coming, so you're going to be celebrating something. You do have romantic love on the horizon. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. That's what the fool card represents. Trusting and taking a leap of faith. So maybe you are doing something that can have a twist on your finances or your living arrangements. Well, family wishes come true. Well, whatever this risk is, it's going to bring your dreams into fruition. Everything you wished for, for your family, as far as financial stability, um, is going to come in. Hat, you will be playing a different role. Yeah. You'll just be doing something a little bit different. You'll be in a different position other than the one you're used to being in. You're stepping out of a comfort zone. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. So either it's you, because it's coming right under, do I sell myself short? Maybe you doubt you have the ability to do whatever you're being called to do. Or someone else is um, making you doubt yourself or causing it. Fine. Seek out information that will help you. So if someone is making you feel like you ain't ready, or you're making your own self feel like you ain't ready, seek out the information you need to feel confident. Read up on whatever this is you are trying to do or a place you want to move to. Whatever the new thing is, get some more information so you feel comfortable. Pig, the way of greed. So you don't get greedy and watch out for people around you who will get greedy as your money and your opportunities start to come in. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. So you have a friend doesn't live near you, but they're thinking of you. Perhaps you haven't called in a long time. Maybe you might want to think about reaching out. You know who they are. They'll be the first person that pops in your head. Maybe you got more than one you've been making calls. <laughs> like me. Don't be like me. Okay. Mountain. Major challenge to overcome. So maybe this friend either is going to help you overcome a challenge or they need your assistance with a challenge. Either way, your friend has something to do with a major challenge that has to be overcome. And lastly, stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So you got some information coming in. Maybe your friend is going to have a business opportunity for you. Maybe they're going to end up working with you on something and help you get over a certain challenge that's going to bring in a new business opportunity. Maybe they're about to have a child. Maybe you are. But whatever the case may be, there's some news coming in soon. So be on the lookout for it. It feels like it's going to be good. Don't stop. Keep going with whatever you're doing. Don't sell yourself short. Awards and good times are coming. Trust your spirit guides. They're all around you. You have a very strong, magnetic, charismatic energy about you, my power force. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. I believe that. I believe in you. And on that note, I want to thank you guys today for being a part of this read. I want to um, ask that you all make sure you are taking care of yourselves, loving on you. Um... Feel free to join me in my 30-day challenge. I'm in week three, y'all. I'm about to be finishing up with week three. But you can use each video for each week. It helps you focus on taking care of yourself, your body, um, and replenishing it with water. And um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I hope it resonated with you in some way. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Read the description. There's so many different ways we provide personal readings, workshops I offer via Zoom. Um, there's a journal that I recently published, a book about love that would do wonders on help and give you hope that there is true love out there if you're losing any hope. And um, yeah, I hope we connect. On that note, I want to send you peaceful energy, peaceful vibes always. Many, many blessings and all, all the goodies that come from being a part of the light tribe. 
Radio. Radio.